I'm going to begin by using the corners of the pastel sticks and we'll block in. I'm going to create a lemon, an orange and a jug. So we have a little still life. There's our lemon, ever so simple. You can also use the flat part of the pastel. Now I like to actually snap the pastels. I know you don't really like to do it when you've got a lovely new box, but it's quite nice if they snap one third, two thirds or about a quarter because then you've got a little block to use. Now that's quite useful because I can use the side to block in. So with the orange, I can create shape there. Now, if I want to block in the background, this is a much easier way than doing it, than using a corner and, and coloring in with it. So it is quite good to actually snap your pastels. I know it goes against the grain when you've got that lovely new box, but it's very practical. And use the point of the pastel just to get into any little gaps. So you can start to see where the jug is going to go. There's my background. Now I'm going to introduce some blue. Now again, I've snapped the blue. This is quite a strong blue. Now these pastels are lovely strong colours. You can see what the colour is straight away, so you don't really need a colour chart for this. So if I just block in, there's the bottom of the jug, there's the cloth. And I automatically get the texture created by just blocking in with the pastel stick. So this is our jug. So let's just block in the jug. I can use the side of the stick, but when I get near to something, it's a little more tricky. So that's when you use the edge. It's a handle. But when I